Welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you everything that you'll need to know about Clostridium botulinum for your step one exam. The bacteria produces an exotoxin which inhibits acetylcholine receptors, which causes flaccid paralysis that we call botulism. Now the source of the infection for adults, it's mainly undercooked food. And we say undercooked because the bacterial toxin is easily destroyed by heat. And for infants, the main source is ingestion of spores. And these spores can be especially found in honey. The exact mechanism of how the spore would cause botulism is very important. The infant will swallow the spore, which will germinate in the small intestine and release a lot of intracellular toxin. Following bacterial lysis, there will be release of the toxin inside the small intestine and slow absorption of the toxin through the gut. To diagnose botulism, we mainly depend on detecting the toxin or in the clinical symptoms. For presentation, you have to remember that it presents as descending flaccid paralysis. The paralysis starts from the head and goes all the way down which affects all nerves, including the cranial nerves. So as the paralysis descend, we see diplopia, dysarthria, dysphagia, and final dyspnea. However, the highly characteristic feature for botulism is the involvement of blockage of both nicotinic and muscarinic receptors. And pathophysiology-wise, if you repeatedly stimulate a muscle that is inhibited by botulism, you will overcome the inhibition. This could be a target of questions. Medically, we can use small amounts of Botox toxin that we inject to relieve dystonia or severe muscle spasms or for cosmetics to relieve wrinkles. And here's a small quiz for you. So how do we treat botulism? And here's the answer. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.